Thanks for watching, and here's a really cool integral I found on Twitter. Namely, let's calculate the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over x. You take the integer part of this, and you take 1 over that. And here's a picture. I hope I didn't forget it. It would be awkward. But notice, yes, it is piecewise defined, so it's nice to split the integral up into the integral from one half to one of this function plus the integral from one third to one half plus the integral of one quarter to one third etc etc and yes the answer will surprise you it's really cool now if x is between one half and one then one over x is between one and two so the integer part is just one so this becomes 1 inverse, this becomes 2 inverse, this becomes 3 inverse, 1 over 1, 1 half, 1 third. And this is just a constant, so it's just 1 times 1 minus 1 half plus 2, sorry, so plus 1 half times 1 half minus 1 third plus 1 third times 1 third minus 1 quarter etc etc so you can really write this if you wish as the sum from n is from 1 to infinity of 1 over n times 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1 you'll see why this is useful so let's split this now up so what this is equal to it's equal to sum from 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared minus sum from 1 to infinity of 1 over n times n plus 1. But this one, it's one of my favorite sums because it's pi squared over 6. I mean, I like pi, but imagine pi squared. How cool is that? And this one you may have seen from calculus. It's this famous telescoping sum. So I think it's 1 minus 1 half plus 1 half minus 1 third plus 1 third minus 1 quarter, etc, etc. And then this one, all those terms cancel out except for 1. And then this equals to pi squared over 6 minus 1. Wow, who would have thought? And not only that, so this is the integer part. You may also ask, what about the fractional part? So not the uh, fractional part inverse, because I think that would diverge. But I do want to mention, I have done a video on the fractional part of 1 over x. And you also get a very nice formula similar to that. You get that it's the euler mascheroni constant minus 1. How cool. Maybe they're related. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.